to video number I'm gonna say seven in my four-week grocery challenge <laughs> I am up to a top-up shops so that's what's coming up over the next three weeks for you guys so if you want to know what this challenge is all about um, definitely go back to the playlist it's linked below watch from video one so you can see I show you how in detail how I actually meal plan the printables I use all of that how I set things I've got the grocery like the main grocery shopping haul that's actually split over two videos you get to see that there's lots of things on there so definitely go back and have a look at it if you're new to the channel you don't know what I'm talking about and how I do things I'm going to probably do this again next month however I'm not going to go into so much detail as far as the printables go and how I use them and stuff I just did it kind of as a setup thing for each printable so people could I could refer back to it in the coming months and people could go back to those videos and, you know, learn how to, I do them and stuff and do it. So that's where we're up to. So if you haven't seen, I have done my main shop, which is the first week in a four week period. Then I've got top up shops, one each week for the next three weeks. Top up shops for me are extra fresh fruit and veggies, things I might've run out of unexpectedly, things that might go on sale that I want to take advantage of. Um, or just yeah things that just sort of pop up I guess but it's a very small budget compared to obviously the main shop because I've done the main like all the hard work and the main shop and I've taken that time to do that that now my top-up shops literally take uh, an eighth of the time <laughs> you know what I mean like it's so much quicker for me to do so if you do want to know kind of what I do with the top-up shop as far as meal planning goes I have a full my four-week meal planning sheet that I've already shown here in, on these videos I obviously refer back to that see what's coming up see if I need to buy anything extra for it because sometimes I might have forgotten something or which I did I forgot to buy chicken um, in the main shop or maybe I've just thought oh, I'll get that sour cream on the week that I need it because I want to have one that's a better date or you know just stuff like that so I've already done that I've already gone through and just quickly tidied up my fridge freezers and pantries as well just to make sure I can sort of see things quickly it takes minimal time now that I've done that big the big planning time when I do the big planning time I take hours of doing that making sure I do it correctly for the three weeks after this is a very quick job you know it's it's I don't know like 15 minutes and I'm gone through everything I've tidied stuff up filled a few things and I know where I'm at. You know what I mean? Like it's so much easier. So that's the beauty of me doing um, a monthly grocery shop when I do do it. And that's why I've started doing it again because I just need to save time. Um, I don't mind doing it on the one day. I just don't want to do it lengthy all the time. So it just helps me have more time, which is what I need for other fun things. Um, especially because I'm working outside of the home now. So that's where we're at. All right. So um, in the last video, which was the second, like part two of my grocery haul that I did, um, I said that I still had to go to Aldi because I forgot to go um, because I went too late in the day. I was going to go back to Aldi and get four packets of noodles, which was about $8, right, roughly. So I actually added that into I've already spent it sort of thing. I didn't end up going. <laughs> I got too busy. So I've actually gone today when I've done this and I've gone and got the um, noodles that I needed. Um, sorry. My kids are home today because it's report writing day at school so I can hear them fighting. Just hopefully, <laughs> hopefully Johnny will deal with that. <laughs> um, anyway, okay, I'll leave them. Um, where was I up to? So I had, yeah, gone and got the noodles. So in that video I had said, so basically for a top up shop for the next three weeks, I've got $150. Okay. That is the budget for the next three weeks because I can just split $50 each week and as an average, you know what I mean? And it's kind of done. However, because I didn't spend all of my main grocery budget, I had money left over because I had my 10% off at Woolworths. So I saved money, which was amazing. Um, so I kind of grabbed that money and just added it into the grocery fund, into the top up shops. Now you could just go and, I don't know, pay a bill with it or go out for dinner or, you know, just something fun with it. That's 
totally fine. I just decided to add it into my grocery budget just as an added extra. So that actually brought it up to that I actually had $205 um, for my top up shops. That's how much because I was 55, about $55 um, saved, like less on my actual main shop. Now that was including the $8. So I've added the $8 back in. So now my top up shop budget for the next three weeks is $213 roughly. So it's between $60 and $70 obviously. Oh, $60 and $70? No, it would be about $70 average a week, I guess, if I wanted to. So I've used that as a guideline. I'll just tell you that right now. So it doesn't mean that next week I'll spend up to $70. I might spend $40 and then have more money in the last week. It just depends where I'm sort of at. So I kind of did that today. I had it as a guideline and just sort of decided, you know, what I was going to do with it. Um, so I will tell you how much I actually spent. All right. So in total, I spent $86 and 17 cents. So minus 213, that leaves me around 126, $127 for the next two weeks top up shops. So again, I'll just think, okay, roughly $60 a week. Let's go with that. Um, so I probably next week, to be honest, probably won't spend too much, hopefully, because the week after is when I'm going to probably need the most stuff in a top up shop because I'll be at the end of my four week period gearing up to start my next four week grocery challenge. <laughs> so if you want to see the next four week, four week grocery challenge, which will be for July, definitely subscribe, um, hit this like button and let me know in the comments below if you do want to see that again next week. Like I said in the previous videos, um, I'll do it again and I'll try to do it in the steps, but I won't be going into really long detail on the actual printables because I've already done that. So, but I will, if people want to see it, that's what I'll do. I've already had quite a few people sort of tell me that they want to see it. So I probably will do it because I think I'll probably do my groceries again this way. Um, it's what I used to do years back. And I'm like I said, I need to do it now because I just need more time with working outside of the home and stuff. So I'll be doing that. So that's really good. So what did I say? 80 something dollars, about 84 or something dollars did I spend? Um, I am going to show you guys what I got. To be honest, when you see it, oh my god, it doesn't look like much for that price. It's nearly $100 worth of stuff and it's not much there. But I did get a couple of meat things, so I think that's kind of where it sort of added up quickly. Um, but yeah, let's have a look and see what I did get. Okay, here is everything. So, uh, Aldi, Coles and Woolworths. I'll tell you where I got each thing from. But um, I did go, yeah, between stores today. All right, so I'm going to start off with this first. This is an interesting thing. I saw this in a supermarket when I was doing my main shop, but I didn't get it. We love having sprinkles in the house. We use them for fairy bread. We use them for, on ice cream, just lots of different things. Cookie decorating, cupcake decorating, all of that. I saw this carnival mix. I don't know if you can see it. It's just a little bit more fun. It's kind of got a bit of everything in it, plus shapes. So it's got the round just the line ones and then it's got some stars in there. I don't know if there's anything else. Oh no, just stars. And it's called Carnival Mix. Now, I wanted to point this out because if you like this and you want this, this is actually up in my store. It's up near where the chocolate and strawberry toppings are, the icy poles, that type of thing. Not the cold stuff, but in the, kind of in the cake aisle, but it's not with the cake stuff. That's why I wanted to point it out because in the cake section with the icing sugar and the icing mixtures and all of that, they do have sprinkles, but they don't have this one. So I don't know whether that's just my store or not, but I just thought I'd let you guys know that if you are interested in it. I got two packets this week because it was um, down to $1.50 at Woolworths. I think it's normally around $2.30ish roughly. I got some chicken breast chunks, they're called. This is from the deli at Coles. It's pretty much just diced chicken, but <laughs> I do pay the little bit extra to go to the deli and get it already cut up. I just could not be bothered, honestly, with chicken breasts this week, so I just thought I'll just save a little bit. I need this for enchiladas, so I thought I'd just get a little bit for that. I didn't get it in the main shop. I actually forgot it, so I got it this week. So $11.66 is $11.50 a kilo, so I got roughly about a kilo in there. I found this um, in the catalogue actually for Coles and I've bought, um, what is it? Is it Betty Crocker? I think it's in. The, now the Betty Crocker one looks smaller, but this says 400 grams and the Betty Crocker one actually says 400 grams on it. 
I, maybe it's taller, I don't know, but they, it does look smaller, the Betty Crocker one, which is a bit weird. This one, though, is $5, and the Betty Crocker one's $6 something. So this is a good deal. I just thought I'd get this for something different for, like, doing cupcakes and things. Um, peanut butter we're actually out of. This is down to a $3.80 at Woolworths. I got two of the lemon soft drinks from Coles, which are about, I think they're $1.20 now, soft drinks, so they're quite high now because of the whole recycling thing happening in Victoria. But... Um, and even the increase doesn't cover what you actually get back for them. So it, it's a bit weird. <laughs> They've just used it as an excuse to increase the price, I feel. Um, but yeah, I got two lemon. I got a box of cappuccinos from Aldi. These are my favourite. I do have Nescafe at the... Is it Nescafe? Yeah, Nescafe at the moment, which I got on special. I think it was in my main shop, wasn't it? But it's just not as nice. Like, I really like the Aldi one. So I got this one from Aldi. I decided to get a roast pork just because it was there and it was pretty reasonably priced. And I thought, I'll just have this. I don't know if I'll put it in my freezer or I'll just change something on my meal plan maybe. Um, because I have, like, a, you know, a couple of really simple nights because I thought, okay, we've got stuff on and we're got basketball and things like that and I thought I'd just do that but I'm thinking maybe I might actually swap this out for that and do that on that simple day and just have it as a thing I just got it because we've been talking about roast pork and I thought I had one actually in the freezer and it turned out it was the lamb so we just yeah Johnny asked for it so I was like I've got room in the budget at the moment so I'll get that so we did um, I got some of these hundreds and thousands cookies which are great they're from Aldi they're like $1.99 and then I got just a couple of packets of the creams. These are like, they used to be like 60 cents or something in Aldi. And I'm pretty sure today I paid about 89 cents. So they've gone up quite a bit. They're just to have a sweet biscuit in the house. That's all. So I, and I just wanted a cheap one. So I just got a normal cream and a chocolate one. I just got some pink lady apples, not very many. And a capsicum I need. Lettuce. So I got this from Aldi actually, because I was interested, because I haven't really been buying fruit and veg from there. I thought I'll go in and see the price. This capsicum was $3 something. I must not have looked at the tag, but I, I mean, I have to look at the other supermarkets, but this by itself was $3 something. It was $11.99 a kilo, which I think is very high. Um, the Pink Lady Apples, oh no, I got these at Woolworths actually, the Pink Lady Apples. They only cost me $3.50, I think, for, what is it, five of those, so that's not too bad. The lettuce is another thing. I need to check at Woolworths because... I'm sure I was paying $2 a bag. At Aldi, it's $2.50 now, so it's gone up quite a bit. Um, so I thought that was a bit strange, but maybe I've just missed the price at Woolworths and Coles, and they've put theirs up as well. And then the grapes, these, these were actually pretty cheap. These were from Aldi, and they were about $4.60, roughly, for those, so that's not too bad. Um, I did get a can of the sliced apples, just because I'm using this in a devil's sausage sort of cook-up I'm doing. And I thought, I'll just, it's for $2, I'll get that rather than buying, um, you know, three extra apples or four extra apples for it. Only because, obviously, when I bought the apples last night, I only bought two and it cost me $1.50. So I thought, well, I'll get the can and I know that's enough for me when I do it. So, yeah, I, I just thought it would be a better deal for me to do that. I did get four packets of noodles. Now, these were actually the ones that... Was, I was supposed to get in my main shop last week and I actually forgot to and then I was going to go the next day. I didn't end up going so <laughs> I just put that $8 into the top up shop budget and I just got it for this week. So that's actually added extra I guess in a way. Um, and then I just got two loaves of bread. Now I don't normally buy the Coles soft white toast loaf. I normally buy the Woolworths one as you know. So I thought I'd just get this to try and see what I think. I did open it. I did make... Um, some lunch with it and it was pretty fine so I feel like and I think it was about the same price let me check yes so this is $2.70 which is the same price as the Woolworths one as well like that cheap one I get um so I feel like you could go either way as far as the bread goes with those stores and yeah it was pretty good it wasn't I think it would freeze well we'd use it for toast and stuff sandwiches I think it'd be okay for um definitely okay for freeze sandwiches if you were on this loaf in three days time, probably not. So that's just, you know, the way it sort of is with that. But otherwise, yeah, it's an all right option. All right, so I'm just checking the iceberg lettuce. So at Coles, it's actually $2. And then Woolworths, it's actually $2. So Aldi is $2.50, it's 50 cents extra.
So I'm actually surprised about the lettuce to be honest because Aldi has always kind of been the same price, price or lower obviously. Um, I did have a look through there at a couple of other things and I've got a video coming up to do with the wishlist printable that will come up in what will it be probably in the next month's full week grocery challenge. And today when I went through, I was just kind of taking photos of a few things that I thought maybe I might like in the next month's shop um, and just comparing prices and stuff. I do want to tell you guys about the cheese. Now that I've seen about the lettuce, I do want to tell you about the cheese. So when it comes to Woolworths, because I get the 10% off once a month, I obviously that bag of lettuce for me too then comes down to $1.80. No, yes, $1.80 because I get 10% off. So it's cheaper than Aldi, for instance. The cheese was always something I got at Aldi because it was cheaper than Woolworths, obviously. I did get my cheese in the main shop, obviously, this time you would have seen, um, because I just thought, oh, just I'll just get it there and get the points and save time, because they brought the, the price of their cheese down to. Uh, when I was in Aldi today, I actually had a look, and I got the 10% off, obviously, so it made it cheaper. So I do want to point out, so for example, a 500 gram block of cheese that we always bought at Aldi, I checked the price today, it's $6.99, so about $7. The one at Woolworths is $7.70. However, taking 70 cents off that, like my 10% off, and actually is lower than Aldi, slightly, not by much, but it is cheaper than Aldi. And the cheese slices, now granted with the <laughs> with the Aldi cheese slices, you get 30, no, 30? I think it's 30 slices. In there. It's still 500 grams, but you get 30 slices. So for me, it goes a little bit further with the amount of sandwiches, I guess. So Aldi's is $7.49. And Woolworths is $7.90. However, take off 79 cents. Is that cheaper? Yes, it is. It's cheaper than Aldi. So Woolworths with my 10% off, when if I buy cheese during those times, is cheaper for me to get it at Woolworths than it is Aldi. So... Even though I shopped a fair bit at Aldi today, especially with my main shops, when I get the 10% off and I'm doing the points and getting like on a big shop, I am better off going to Woolworths because with my 10% off, a lot of the time, a lot of things are coming down lower than what they are price-wise at Aldi. Now, I don't know if that's why Woolworths have kind of done this, just sort of, I don't know, get people to make the choice to go to Woolworths. I don't know, but... For me, it's definitely cemented in my mind why I'm doing Woolworths. It's not that I don't like Aldi, but the whole excuse of, oh, it's cheaper to go to Aldi now is not so true anymore. You know what I mean? It depends what you're buying and stuff, but I think if you compare the prices and take 10% off the Woolworths price, then you probably find that things are cheaper at Woolworths than what they are at Aldi. If you've got an Aldi and you're doing that anyway. So I just wanted to point that out. <laughs> um, for what I got today, not much for the price, is it? Like, it's quite a lot. Um, I kind of in, am in two minds about it, thinking I wish I'd just, apart from the noodles, because we love the Aldi noodles and I can't get them anywhere else. Like, should I have just done that at Woolworths and used Johnny's 10% off and saved another what was it, $8 or something, you know, with the 10% off. So I don't know. It's all up in the air as far as that goes with top-up shops. I'm still kind of trying to work that bit out. Um, but, you know, today it is what it is. I still do pretty okay. I did spend over, obviously, my allocated budget for the week. Um, but as far as the top-up shop goes, I've still got that $126, $127 left. So if you would like to see what happens in the next two top up shops please subscribe i'd love to have you if you're new um give this video a thumbs up if, if you're a regular let me know in the comments if you buy any of the stuff that i actually got today and just your thoughts on the whole pricing thing i know there's going to be arguments about it because there always is um but yeah they were just my personal thoughts on it as well so yeah all right guys thanks so much for watching and i'll see you probably tomorrow